So, doctor, can you please tell me the causes for acquired diseases other than infections? Yes, sure. I was about to tell you about non-fictitious diseases. Now, see, these diseases develop in an individual after their birth but are not caused by pathogens. Since there is no infectious agent involved in causing these diseases, these are termed as non-infectious diseases. Okay. In short, acquired diseases caused by factors other than pathogens are non-infectious diseases. Also, as there is absence of pathogen in causing the disease, the diseased person cannot transmit the disease to healthy people around him either directly or indirectly. Hence, such diseases are also called as non-communicable diseases. Such disease also cannot spread in population via contamination of air, water, soil or food by deceased person. This means that disease remains confined or restricted to the deceased person only. That's like the wounds which I had on my legs and the fracture in my hand. Any of my friends would not become hurt by touching me or playing with me unless they themselves had an accident and then fell on the ground while playing and got hurt, just like me. <laughs> Correct. Correct. But uh, what are the other reasons for people acquiring non-infectious diseases? Well, there are uh, many factors other than getting hurt while playing on the ground that are responsible for causing non-infectious diseases. Now see, I'll explain to you some of these. Uh, first one can be nutritional or dietary deficiency, which is like certain diseases occur when we do not receive one or more nutrients like vitamins, minerals, amino acids, etc. in sufficient amounts in our diet, especially in early ages of growth and development of our body. Now, for example, scurvy is a disease that is caused by deficiency of vitamin C and has symptoms like bleeding of gums, poor healing of wounds, pain in bones, swelling, to name a few. Okay. Now, another example would be deficiency of iron causing low hemoglobin and anemia, iodine deficiency that causes goiter. The second type is degeneration of tissues and organs. Now see, there are some diseases that commonly occur in elderly people as the body tissues and organs undergo aging, become weak and do not perform their functions well. For example, arthritis that is pain in joints, hypertension that is uh, high blood pressure, osteoporosis, weakening of bones, cataracts, kidney diseases etc. are examples of such degenerative diseases. The third one is accidents and injuries. Certain diseases may occur due to certain physical agents like heat, pressure, cold temperature, sound, friction or radiations that we encounter accidentally. Burns, fractures, wounds, frostbites, sprains, etc. are common examples. Now similarly, we may encounter certain chemical agents accidentally that may cause diseases. Toxic gases, smoke, dust particles, hazardous chemicals, heavy metals, etc. are also responsible for causing diseases, commonly termed as poisonings. The fourth one is allergies. Now, these diseases develop when person encounters a substance to which he or she is hypersensitive. Hay fever, asthma, which some people suffer from when they are extremely sensitive to pollen grains, dust, smoke, spores or animal hair or fur particles etc. in surroundings. Fifth one is cancers. Now, cancer refers to irregulated cell divisions leading to uncontrolled growth of tissues or organs in the body. Variety of parameters play a role in causing cancers. So, Ria, now do you understand what could be because of non-infectious diseases? I've understood it very well. Thank you so much, doctor. Then, uh, would you be able to answer a question if I ask you? Yes, doctor, I will try. Okay, great. Then tell me, uh, what are major distinguishing features of infectious and non-infectious diseases? I think I can summarize the difference between infectious and non-infectious diseases. Infectious diseases. These are caused by infectious agents termed as pathogens, whereas non-infectious diseases are caused by factors other than pathogens. Infectious diseases can be easily transmitted from one diseased person to another healthy person by direct or indirect contact 
or via contaminated air, water, food, soil or objects. Whereas, non-infectious diseases cannot be transmitted from a diseased person to healthy people by any means. These are also termed as communicable diseases. Okay. Many of these diseases can be cured by medicines like antibiotic chemicals that kill or destroy the pathogens. These diseases can be cured by using medicines other than antibiotics. Occurrence of infectious diseases can be prevented by a vaccination, whereas occurrence of non-infectious diseases cannot be prevented by a vaccination. Mm -hmm. Infectious diseases can be controlled by using good hygienic and clean sanitary practices. But a spread of non-infectious diseases in population, it depends on complex factors like age, quality of food and environment lifestyle, stress, etc. Hence, multifactorial control measures are required. That is excellent, Ria. You have clearly understood what I shared with you. I am so proud to have a patient so smart as you. Thank you, doctor. I really appreciate the way that you explain things to me. Now I am sure I will be able to answer any questions that my friends ask me about various types of diseases. That's very good. And it was a pleasure for me to explain this to you. Okay. And you are always welcome to visit me anytime to discuss anything regarding this health and diseases. Okay. Okay, now just be careful about your hand and you will be fine by the end of this weekend. Okay? Okay, bye. Bye-bye.